Nathan Bedford Forrest, one of the most polarizing figures of the Civil War era, was born July 13, 1821 in Chapel Hill, Tennessee, a small town on the Duck River. When his father, a blacksmith, died when he was 16, he rose from these humble beginnings to become one of the most feared cavalry leaders in the Confederate Army. His natural military instincts and unconventional tactics often caught his Union adversaries off guard, leading to numerous victories in battles that seemed unwinnable. Described as a physically imposing man for the time, six feet three inches tall, weighing 220 pounds. In the summer of 1863, with the war at its peak, Forrest, now a brigadier general, was tasked with defending a crucial supply line in Mississippi. The Union forces, under the command of General Sherman, are advancing rapidly, threatening to cut off the Confederate Army from its much-needed resources. Forrest, with his ragtag group of cavalrymen, undertakes a daring and risky maneuver. They rode deep into enemy territory, launching a series of surprise attacks on Union camps at night. These raids become legendary, spreading fear among Union soldiers and earning Forrest the nickname, the Wizard of the Saddle. Forrest was a fierce warrior on the battlefield, yet also a man troubled by the horrors of war. Above all, his tactic was the charge, and he frequently overcame Union forces that vastly outnumbered his own as he personally led his troops. Forrest suffered four major wounds during the war, had 29 horses shot out from under him, killing more than 30 Union soldiers. Union General William Sherman himself described him as a devil who should be hunted down and killed if it costs 10,000 lives and bankrupts the treasury. As for General Forrest's battle record, it cannot be denied or downplayed. After his surrender, when asked by a Union officer who he thought his greatest general was, General Robert E. Lee replied, Sir, a gentleman I have never had the pleasure to meet, General Nathan Bedford Forrest. In the final chapters, the story explores Forrest's later years marked by a dramatic transformation, haunted by the ghosts of war and his actions. He publicly advocates for racial harmony and speaks out against the very organization he helped create. This change, though met with skepticism and resistance, marks a significant shift in his life's trajectory. The tale of Nathan Bedford Forrest concludes with his death in 1877. As an old man, he reflects on his life, contemplating the legacy he leaves behind. In the 1994 motion picture, Forrest Gump, the eponymous Tom Hanks character states that he was named after his ancestor, General Nathan Bedford Forrest. And there is a blatantly fantasy photo montage showing the general, also played by Hanks in military uniform, and Ku Klux Klan robes a Hollywood fantasy, because no image has ever been found associating Forrest with the Klan. Thanks for watching.